When you see that worship key turn in the congregation, it's such an, oh, it's such an impactful, beautiful thing to see. When you see the brightness of someone's face when they're singing and their attitude of worship, it does my heart really, really good. The worship ministry is so much more than entertainment. I believe that everything we do is an act of worship, whether it's sitting down to eat a meal together, whether it's driving down the interstate, whatever. The worship ministry helps to hone the skills of dedicated musicians to lead our congregation into a deeper relationship with Christ and to worship Him as we go through our daily lives. Jeff is a great coach and a great leader in that. Also, the choir members all help each other. It's, it's a very collaborative, very joyful, it does something to you when you're singing and praising the Lord and participating in, in that worship. It's not just the people that hear the music, but it's the people that produce the music and the people that, that play the music and sing. It gives people so many different ways to be a part of the body of Christ here at Salem without just plopping in a seat on Sunday or going to a BFG. And it's just so much fun to see so many people so involved. Uh, and, and I'm really hoping more people will come to do that because it is a great ministry to be a part of. It really is a completely different view of worship than you would ever see if you're just sitting in a chair out front. God asks us to make a joyful noise when we sing. He doesn't care whether we're in key or not. And that is so, so welcoming and gracious and joyful. I mean, it, you know, I didn't matter how I sing as to however. We don't stand up there for people to say, wow, aren't you amazing? Nothing we do on that stage is performance. Everything we do on that stage is to bring people into that, pre that place of worship, bring people into that opening of their heart, even for that person who's only coming to church because that's what you're supposed to do. At some point, somewhere, I hope my hope is that what we do on that stage is going to prick a little hole in that wall, in that hardness of heart, and it's gonna open that up and they're gonna realize, wow, I'm actually worshiping. My hope is always that people feel like they're being led into the presence of God led to the feet of Jesus. I enjoy singing. I, I always enjoyed singing. Um, not, that's not my natural talent, but I, you know, God just has put into me that I enjoy music, I enjoy singing, even though um, I'm not a natural musician by any means. You know, that should help anybody to realize anyone can participate. And, and scripture does say, make a joyful noise. And I could definitely do that. If God has gifted you, Musically, you need to use those gifts that he has given you in his body. He commands us to do that. Much like the, the biblical story of the talents, he gave me a talent. Now what am I gonna do with it? I sit and hold on to it and hoard it and dig a hole and put it in it and say, this is mine. And then when he asks me what I did with it, say, there's what I have and give it back. Or am I gonna take it and am I gonna use it? I am not normally a numbers girl. I don't think necessarily more people is better for the church. But I do wish we had more people, more voices, more instruments, more whatever. We have just the right amount of people to make things go on a given Sunday. But we certainly could use more because at some point you've got to let people rotate and take a break. It can be intimidating. You can be very fearful of what if I mess up? It ain't gonna matter, it's okay, it'll be all right. So many people are, will say, oh, but I don't sing like you. You don't have to. I don't want you to sing like me, I want you to sing like you. I want you to play your instrument like you, whatever thing that it is that you do that is worship. We are indeed called to service. Come on up and let's do this. Let us adore.